Hello everyone, I'm doing a quick video on my tanks. I just did a huge water change in all of them and cut down a couple of um, plants because they weren't doing so well. Um, kind of wanted to share some info. I'm not a scientist or anything, but I think I may be onto something as far as that Seachem Purigen. Um, I put um, Seachem Purigen in this fish tank and in this fish tank just to kind of because I have them kind of overstocked and I didn't put it in this fish tank well, anyways the reason I'm sharing all this is because my nitrates on this fish tank are through the roof right now the nitrates are pretty much they skyrocketed and so did my other fish tank. But on this fish tank that I didn't use Purigen, my nitrates are zero. Ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates are pretty much zero. I have to put that easy green stuff just to keep my, um, my plants nice and healthy. But I kind of think it's weird that this fish tank is doing great. This, it's the same amount of water changes. Pretty much the same, both fish tanks are pretty much overstocked um they they were both all three of them were at zero and then all of a sudden i used the purigen and somehow my nitrates skyrocketed um i don't know if people have had similar experiences but all i know is that for me it seems like something is definitely wrong and i kind of feel like the purigen is an easy fix whenever you're your ammonia is kind of high. It pretty much brings the levels down pretty much to zero super fast. But the price to pay is that your nitrates are going to shoot up. Um, I'm doing massive water changes right now um, to kind of get it back. But um, as you can see, everybody's active. My poor fish, they've kind of been tortured here recently because of my overdoing it and overthinking but um, they're super active now so I think um, I was able to cut the nitrites actually the nitrates in half and um, maybe that's why they're a little bit more active I don't know but I need to figure this out quickly because I like having healthy fish and no more purigen for me. It's an easy fix, it's super cheap, but I'm gonna tell you the nitrates, they shot up like crazy. And we're talking, they shot up within a couple of minutes, I mean, with a couple of days, two or three days. My clown loge tank, I mean, that thing is skyrocketed as far as the nitrates. But here, this one, zero, everything's zero. I have to dose pretty much every other day with um, Easy Green from Aquarium Co-op, which awesome product. Right here, this moss looks pretty bad because I was um, turning my sand bed over. And as you guys know, moss is kind of like a filter plant that kind of holds on to everything. So the moss got a little, took on a little bit of the, the sand, but everybody's doing great. Look at that. Look at my red cherry shrimp super red everybody's doing good everybody's doing awesome in here I love looking around looking for babies I call this the graveyard right here my assassin snails doing their job still some snails in there but they're running out of food another cherry shrimp right there so, a little colony of them chilling right there. These are my super hungry guppies. Always acting like they're starving even though I just fed them. All my fish tanks are kind of a mess today because like I said, I was doing some work on them. But look at these guys, they're good. Had to lock up the monster again.
This used to be the hospital tank, but now it's my male guppy tank. Another one that I hit with the the Pyrogen and nitrate skyrocketed. So no more Pyrogen for me. Huh. Something going on right here, they're picking out on something. Oh, uh, an algae wafer. Put some coolie lotions in here. And people say that coolie lotions don't eat snails. Well, they do. I I rarely have any dead snails. And I've had dead snails like crazy lately. They're, they're eating them. That's a pile of dead snails right there. Pretty much in like two weeks, they're just going after snails. It's a little cloudy in there because I just added a whole bunch of um, sand. But, you know, cool little tank, a little 29 gallon tall. Anyways, just a quick little update. Thanks everyone for watching.